जय श्री माता जी एवरी वन अंड श्री माता जी ब्लेसिंग एंड ग्रेस वी आर हेयर वंस अगेन कंप्लीटली सरेंडर्ड श्री माता जी इज लोटस फीट दीज वर्कशॉप ऑन अटेंशन वेर इन वी वर्क ऑन अ चक्रास अंड श्री माता जीज गाइडेंस and pay attention to the deities call upon them and with the attention they get pleased and awaken within this body there is this subtle body which is inside the spine and a very thin thread on which all the chakras are situated once the deities are pleased we are able to raise our attention to our spirit and once we can feel our spirit once we become one with shiva which is nothing but our spirit the reflection of lord shri sada shiva in a left heart we are able to rise higher and through a vishuddhi and agya chakra we are able to come to the god's kingdom as sahasrara which is ruled governed reigned by none other than adi shakti hasel श्री माता जी निर्मला देवी वी आर एबल टू फील द ब्लिस इन अ सहस्रारा एंड विद लाइट एंड अटेंशन अ सहस्रारा गेट्स एन लाइट एंड थाउजेंड नर्व get awakened and we start receiving the parama chaitanya which is all pervading power of god all around us and this is the time when the kundalini power has pierced through our brahmarandra and goes out it moves in the spiral and upward direction and crosses the four chakras above us sahasrara if our attention is lighter and enlightened we can easily raise and the shri mata ji's blessings and grace to the higher chakras which are outside the body but they are our chakras and this is like a ladder to reach the sky which is the fifth element so once we reach the sky the ether element we have crossed the four elements which is earth water 
fire air and we go back to beyond all the negativities and we get into the nirbadha nirabadha state and our awareness can move now in 360 degree direction our attention can go anywhere and permeate completely into that there is a whole lot big area of this atmosphere once we cross the ether element we enter into the space which even the scientist find it difficult to decipher the mysteries of the cosmos god lord shri sada shiva has created many universes with the help of shri adi shakti she desired and she created many universes we live in one such universe so lord shri sada shiva and shri adi shakti are beyond this universe shri sada shiva can watch us watch all the universes he can watch he is a witness to the work of shri adi shakti who has created not only this universe where we live in but many of them it has been written in puranas and shri mata ji has also shared with her children and we can feel them we can experience a connection because we start living now in collective consciousness our awareness can reach anywhere but may it into anything wherever we pay attention it gets activated it penetrates and meets so once we reach this space of the universe where we live in, this is not where we find god god is beyond this he is an observer beyond the universe universe is a play creation of shri adi shakti and is watching them is detached is a way and still present in everything that is that has got life the plants the animals any living creature all the human beings is present as atma within us without him we cannot be life will be dead the lord shri sada shiva not only resides in every human being in every living creature but he also resides in this world where the countries are 
the different chakras that Shri Mataji has talked about. Lord Shri Sadashiva resides on Kailasha in a different form. Without him, no life, no universe can sustain as we all know, the Germany, England, Austria, Australia, America. They are all different chakras of this world. So if there is a problem in America, Avishuddhi will get disturbed because we live in collective consciousness. <coughs> So this is, these are the different places where Lord Shri Sadashiva resides in different forms. And Mother Kundalini also resides, which is a feminine energy within every living creature. Without both of them, nobody can sustain its life. Even if it is, um, it is an insect, smallest of the smallest creature, amoeba, paramecium, any animal, any bird. But they do not have all the chakras. Only the human beings have all the chakras. And this is a special right given to human beings the best creation of Shri Adi Shakti, that we can ascend and be one with the Creator. So in these workshops, we are working, trying to ascend under Shri Mataji's guidance, blessings and grace. And enjoy Saluk, Samit, Sanit, and Tata. So, today, as there are a lot of confusions amongst the yogis, first we'll have a meditation. And then we'll listen to Shimatiri's Amritwani year wise, country wise, where she has talked that how yogis can achieve the desired aim of being one with him by trying out different methods of meditation. They can increase their powers and ascend to that level. Where they start moving, start permeating into anything and everything, wherever they put their attention. We'll have the questions answered by her. Shri Adi Shakti Hasem in a various speeches which have been put in these groups for last almost two weeks. So let us get ready for today's meditation session. Just Draw your attention in the central heart. Just be thoughtless. Do not think. Just don't think. No past or future values. 
Let Param Chaitanya take care of everything. Just surrender. Just surrender. Just surrender. Let us put our attention in the central heart, in the lotus feet of Sri Jagadamba, the mother of the universe, in the central heart, the side, all the deities, all the ganas, all the elevated souls, Sahaja Yogis, they all reside in our central heart. All the planets, mountains, oceans, All of them are here in a central heart, in the divine court of Sri Chakadamba. Ready and alert to help, support, and work for her devotees, protect them, empower them with their qualities, with their blessings and powers. So let us pray to Sri Ganesha, O Lord Ganesha, please remove all the obstacles coming in way of my spiritual ascent. You are the one who decide in each and every particle of this universe in the form of carbon, not Ganesha. You are the one who protects the Mother Kundalini by not allowing to rise in the people who do not have enough punyais, good deeds from the previous parts, whose chakras are not clear and cannot be cleared. O oh Lord Ganesha, Recite as Jesus Christ in my friend Dakya. You recite as she Mahaganesha in my back Akya. You give permission to enter the Sahasrara only when you feel. The seeker has enough good deeds from the previous birth, enough punyas from the previous birth. His egoless forgives everyone. O oh Lord Ganesha, please awaken. Please awaken. Please awaken. Now we shall pray to Shri Bhairav Naji. Shri Bhairav Naji, you reside in my Udanari, 
निष्काल भैरव कंकाल भैरव शमशान भैरव मार्तंड भैरव काल भैरव आनंद भैरव यू प्रोटेक्ट एंड कीप माई एर नाड़ी completely clear cleansed so that my mother kundalini can rise through it you are the humble servant of shri mahakali shri bhairav nath is a week in my garden then take away and destroy all the negativities in my garden you are the destroyer of all the tantric arts and their influences in my garden please a week please a week we can feel our inner nadi is getting clear just pay attention to the left side of your body now let us pay attention to the right side of our body and pray to shri hanuman in a central heart oh shri hanuman beside in my pingala nadi you are the devotee of shri rama you are the supporter and protector of shri adi shakti whenever she is come on earth in any form shri sita shri radha manir mala you are there to carry out all the divine jobs and protect her devotees please have it and clear the path for my mother kundalini to rise please clear my right side my pingala nadi fully and completely for shri hanuman you are present in the ether without your blessings i cannot enter into it please avik please cleanse my right side the right side of my body just pay attention to the right side of our body Shri Hanuman, please clear all the obstacles coming in way of my mother Kundalini. Please remove all the obstacles fully and completely. Now let us pay attention to Shri Kartike in a right mulata. Shri Kartike, you were created by Shri Shiva and Shri Shakti. 
to destroy all the Rakshasas, to kill them. Over a big barrier for the yogis ascend who were not allowing yogis to connect with God, to worship God and she Shakti. Please awaken and destroy all the negativities, all the Rakshasas within, without my being. Entire attention on right Muladhara. Feel the right Muladhara. We shall put back our attention in the central heart and bow down in the lotus feet of Sri Jagadamba, where all the deities are present, destroying their blessings on us in our central heart, entire attention in the central heart, feel the energy. Sri Mataji recites in this God is Jagadamba. She's awakened completely and fully. Giving us confidence, making us fearless. Entire attention in the center lot. We can feel the energy flowing. Now let us take attention to our left heart. Deep inside our left heart. Try to Search for your spirit, you'll find it. It has a physical presence. It is present deep inside our left heart. Shimataji, by your grace, I am a pure spirit. I'm not this body, mind, intellect, ego. I'm just a witness to your play in my life. Shmataji, I'm Shiva, by your grace. I'm immortal. Nothing can destroy me or kill me. No fire can burn me. No weapon can kill me. No air can blow me away. I am immortal. I am a pure spirit. I am the attention the truth and the joy. Now we shall take attention to our right heart. 
in the lotus feet of Lord Rama and Goddess Sita, the first incarnation of Sri Mahalakshmi. Please bless me. with a religious life. Please make me responsive. Please empower me to do the divine job with responsibility and sincerity. Like I said, Please awaken in my right heart. Make me responsible in whatever I do. Lord Rama, please awaken in my right heart. Just surrender your right heart at the lotus feet of Sri Mataji. Let her work it out. Just surrender. Now we shall put back attention, move our attention to the central heart. And with all the powers of Amuladha Chakra, Shri Ganesha, Aswadishthan Chakra, Shri Brahmadev Saraswati, Anabhi Chakra, Shri Lakshmi Narai, and all the gurus and their powers and blessings. Let us move our attention now to Vishuddhi Chakra. And feel the blessings of Sri Radha Krishna in the Vishuddhi Chakra. Come to Akya Chakra. And after crossing it, coming to a Brahmarandra. Amun. Mother Kundalini is coming out of her brandra completely. You can feel it. Beautifully it's coming out. We can feel Shimataji's lotus feet. Param Chaitanya has started flowing into her system from her feet. We can feel Param Chaitanya in her sestrata. Place your attention in the sestrata, inside the sestrata. Spine, entire back. Param Chaitanya is trickling down. Just get drenched. Back, front, hands, feet, entire body. Taking away all that's negative from her body, throwing it out completely. Param Chaitanya is cleansing us 
all the chakras in the spine and in the body. All the organs are being nourished by Param Chaitanya. All the internal organs. We are filled with Param Chaitanya completely. Completely, completely drenched. Now let us put our attention at the lotus feet of Shri Mataji and pray, O oh Mother Divine, we thank you for giving us our self realization. Please bless us with all the powers that you want to bestow upon us. Shri Mataji, please bless us to raise our attention higher and cross the higher chakras. Shri Mataji, please bless us to have the adatme. Lord Shri Sadashiva. Please grant us a self realization and a God realization, Shri Mataji. We are being blessed by her. Just feel the blessings are coming from a lotus feet. Now let us raise our attention to Ardhvindu Chakra, three, four inches higher. Bindu Chakra, higher than that. Vale, where both our hands meet. And from Valaya Chakra, we can again be Lord of Param Chaitanya is falling on us. And we are getting danced completely. We'll keep moving our attention higher and higher. Pradakshina to the higher chakras, the sky. Just spread your attention in the sky. Lord of Param Chaitan is falling from the sky on the entire world. Let us take attention to America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia. Let the entire world be tensed in Param Chaitanya. Just trench the world with Param Chaitanya with your attention. Now we'll move into elements. First, the earth element. Wherever there is land in the entire world, let us permeate into that and remove all the negativities from the earth. COVID-19 is being killed completely from the earth. Let us move our attention to the water element. Wherever there are oceans, rivers, lakes, fountains, forts, in the entire world, 
Let's permeate into that. All the negativities, COVID-19, another viruses and negativities. Even if they are in the minds of people are getting killed. Especially the sequel. Now the air element, just fill air element with param chaitanya through attention in the entire universe. And the fire, the light, completely enlightened with that edge. Shimataji, please help Sahaji with the six enemies, the Ranga, should be converted into forgiveness. Their jealousy should be converted into love. The intoxication should be only of meditation, of thoughtlessness. Shumataji, please help the yogis to get rid of their six enemies. Kama, Krodha, Lo, Mo, Mats, the greed, attachments, conditionings, ego should be removed and destroyed from the hearts and minds of the Sahaja in the entire world. It's taking time. Let it happen through your attention. Let us move our attention again to the sky go beyond the sky and the space. Just permeate into planets, Mars, Shiganesha. Just feel oneness with all the planets. Mercury, Shri Brahmadev Saraswati, Jupiter, Shri Adi Guru, Shri Lakshmi Narayan. Beautiful Jupiter, the Venus, bright Venus, full of love, Esau, Shri Jagadamba, the heart, Saturn, the abode of Shri Krishna, Sudarshan Chakra. Kills the wrong people, saves, protects the divine souls, establishes dharma. The sun clearing our gas. giving life to every animal, every creature in the world, destroying all the negativities. The moon giving peace and love, the coolness, the Neptune, Uranus, 
establishing the guru principle. Pluto, Shimataji came on this, came with her, vanished with her. Feel the entire space as one with your attention. Just permit into all the planets. Let us move ahead, raise attention higher and go beyond the space, the absolute zero point, zero temperature, minus 269 degrees. Everything is still vacuum. This is beyond the universe. Nobody else other than Sahaja Yogis can reach this place. You can see she Lord Sadashiva. Just put your head at his lotus feet and pray. Lord Shri Sadashiva, please give me yoga. The one is with you. Complete the adhatme. Just one with you. We have entered into his being, into his heart. Complete one is slowly and gradually will detach ourselves. Bow down at his lotus feet and pray. Thank you. O oh Lord, O oh our Supreme Father, we thank you again and again for this yoga, the complete oneness with you. We thank you again and again for the incarnation of Sri Adi Shakti on earth. For us, making it possible to have yoga with you by giving us a self realization. In final salutation at your lotus. Slowly and gradually, we'll come to the space, sky, and through the sky. Again, let us come back with Param Chaitanya. Bring it to the world for their benevolence. It's falling on entire universe. Entire world, drenching it completely. Completely.
We'll come back to assess status and feel the Param Chaitanya in a body once again. From Sahasthara to Mulana, all the chakras are getting nourished. Let's thank Shimataji at Sahasthara for today's experience, for enjoying the yoga, the oneness with Shri Sadashiva. Thank you, Shimataji. Thank you again and again. Mother, please keep us in your lotus feet forever in this life and beyond. I wish us fully come to our Akya, Vishuddhi in a central heart and rest in a central heart in the lotus feet of Shri Chakra. Now we'll listen to Shimataji's Amritwani and understand the questions which are there. But whether she has talked about elements, what is Nirvikalp Samadhi, and what are the achievements, the powers that we get once we get into that Nirvikalp Samadhi. What is the difference between Nirvichar and Nirvikalp? Nirvichar we become at Sehasara once we cross Akya. Difficult to retain this position. We keep coming down again and again. Kundalini keeps falling down. But once we are able to achieve Nirvikalpa state, which starts from Bindu Chakra and above, if our awareness stays there, then we don't fall off. A Kundalini stays completely raised all the time. So let us listen to the Amritvani and note down all the years and the places. I request you to note down the Amritvani, which is what is the God realization and self realization. You'll find it in 1990, 31st May, San Diego, the Mother God, United States. It is one hour, 17 minutes onwards, you'll find when she's talking about what is God realization, and once you get the God realization, you can control five elements. So this is what we should experience. If we are experiencing the permeation into five elements, this is God realization. Shimataji has talked about it in 1990, 31st May, the mother God and this, she starts at one hour and 17 minutes onwards. Then second is, how to ascend into Nirvikalpa. It's 10th March, 1985, Sydney, Australia. And it is towards the end, and this was during Devi Puja. It is towards the end where she's saying, 
do not quote me i do not want to hear mother said this why because in which reference to context i'm talking do not misuse whatever i say please listen to this and she mata ji has said use your own discretion now you can talk you understand you have the powers please re- listen to this 10th march 1985 sydney australia and she has said don't be rigid change your style and the center you should be centered in the spirit and then you can move anywhere she has exactly said in these many words we have to change our style pattern of meditation we can, cannot be rigid and then only we can move and permeate anywhere that we want try new ways to meditate so this is during this time in this speech then is she has talked about in sahasrara puja how to become a guru which is 20th july 2008 kabila that we all have been blessed by her and we are capable but we should be in perfect balance then only we talk about sahaj yoga and in this speech which is on your screen she has also talked that who can teach sahaj yoga people who are in nirvikalp can only teach sahaj yoga if people in nirvichara state try to teach sahaj yoga they will be thrown out of sahaj yoga this is 3rd february 1983 in delhi and where she was talking about agya chakra 3rd february 1983 delhi then we have 1983 4th february where she is talking about that you have to be humble humility is the essence of sahaj yoga you can be aggressive you should be able to overcome your six enemies then only you can be humble so humility basically she is talking about humility here then 6th may 1987 need to go deeper in burgo sydney where she is talking about savikal and nirvikal nirvichar so savikal samadhi is when we have doubts we still have doubts where is absolute zero point is sadashiva in the universe or beyond the universe where is he this comes with the experience when you have no doubt about god's existence you can feel oneness with him this is nirvikalp samadhi and you if you still have doubts then you have not reached that then you can't teach sahaj yoga with so many doubts you cannot teach sahaj yoga that is savikalp samadhi so chimata ji says nirvichara is not enough develop new dimensions of nirvikalp so mata ji saying dimensions of the awareness which can be 360 degree so we must listen to this then she is talking about do not blame any circumstances or individuals that because of them i could not get into nirvikalpa you have to you must go into nirvikalpa these are her words which are in 1985 4th may in sahasrara puja down 
because this is Shimata Ji has, you know, given us so many Amritwanis and now also all the experiences that we are having are all given by her, all given by her. So Shimata Ji is saying, if you can't be influenced by me and you are being influenced by normal human beings, then she doesn't know what to say to such people because she herself has said these things and we are not influenced and we are not understanding what she said and we are understanding whatever with whatever mind people are trying to understand Sajjava. And Easter Puja, she said, again, she said, be hum. And she's talked about 12 types of Sajjavis where she has said the one who's fully empowered, they are the one who know about, you know, the powers. They have no doubts about themselves. We have to develop our powers. Do not depend on my powers. Shri Mataji is saying, do not depend on my powers. I've given you all my powers. Use the powers and build up your powers. So she's talked about this. 1992, 19th April, Easter Puja. 12 types of Sahaja Yogas. You must listen to this. The ones who are in periphery, and she's talked about how the centrifugal and these powers are always working. So some of them are getting into the, you know, the deeper form, and some of them are throwing you away from Sahaja Yoga. Then she's talked about that we have to rise to the same level as hers. At least try, she's saying. And again, she says that it is possible only with humility. If we are not humble, it is difficult to reach you know, this state where we enjoy all the power she has that we can also have the same powers. And she also said that why some of them are not able to enjoy the Param Chaitanya, if the Sahasrara is not open, so the job of Mother Kundalini is to open the Sahasrara. If it is not completely open, we cannot enjoy the divine grace, because it, when it is opened, the kundalini power goes out and the param chaitanya comes down. Where does it go? Where does it go? To meet Lord Shri Sadashiva. Otherwise, why should it come out? She clearly said that what happens it goes to the divine power, upar. You know, it goes upwards and the divine grace comes down. And we should try individual methods. She's talking about this. For the development to get these powers. Individual methods. She said, and we can listen. It is here in the Samrit Pani. Even if we are not able to play today, the all of it, you please listen to this Amritwani, which is a collection of many Amritwanis, you know, in different years. And she's talked about in uh, Delhi, 3rd February 1983, that how when we get into Nirvikalpa, then only we can talk about Sahaja Otherwise, we cannot and we should not. If we try to talk about Sahaja Yoga without being into Nirvikalpa, will be thrown out of Sahaja And then she's talk about how we can control any elements. This is on 15th March, 1919. This is a talk at the University of Sydney. That and she said that this is possible only in the collective to get these powers. 
you know, where we can control elements, we can, and this is beyond human's conception. It's difficult with a human mind to understand that these powers can be attained. Then she's talked about that in collective only we can say, yes, uh, this is 15th March. We've only been 1990. So, and lastly, that what is Saloke, Samipe, Sanitya, and Tadatme. First, you see God in God realization. That you, then you feel that God is near you all the time. Then you feel you are with him all the time. And then you feel, Shimataji says, I've given you Tadatme. You can enjoy yoga with God, with Lord Shri Sadashiva. That, that is oneness with him, Tadatme. And Shri Mataji said, when is it possible? This is very important for us to understand. When you go out of my body, then only it is possible. Uh, till you are inside my body, you cannot develop these powers of yours. So after I leave this body, then only you can go out and with different methods, you build up your powers yourself. And then you can be in nirvikalp and be one with God. It is there in her own words. And what she is giving after 2008, like 2008 was the last lecture. And after 2008 till now, 13 years, do you think she has stopped talking to us? She's still talking in our hearts. And we are getting her all the messages through various experiences. You feel anything, any thought comes to your head and it is answered by her immediately. Either somebody else gives you, uh, will give you that, uh, you know, answer. It will happen through some situation or some experience. So that means she's still answering all our questions. The connection has to be there. She's still talking. She has not stopped talking. Though in physical sarkar form, she stopped talking after 2008. She stopped giving lectures. But I feel she's still talking to us in our hearts. We are getting answers to every question that we have. Only thing is we have to be connected with her. Then only we can listen to what she's saying in our heart. So she, as for me, she's still talking. Amritvanis are still going on even after 2008. So this is what I had to share with you all. I hope, uh, and we had done, you know, torsion area last time. We know where is the torsion area. And we know now what is the difference between self-realization and God-realization and how to get God-realization, how to get into Nirvikalpa, and what is the difference between Savikal? That means still we have doubts and we are getting thoughtless. But Nirvikal is when we have no doubt. Who is Adi Shakti? Where are they? How they are working? How the God is working through us? Where is God? How the entire world, different chakras have been made by Adi Kundalini? No, Adi Shakti made first Adi Kundalini and made different chakras in the entire world. And this is how the work is being executed by divine. So we live in collective consciousness. We are all one. And whatever happens to someone, and all of us can feel it all the time, the joy, the misery, the sorrow, the pain, everything. And even any country, if it is going through some kind of um, unrest or something, we can feel in that chakra of ours, which is connected with that country. So we have to be collectively conscious, which is possible only after we cross ether element, which is the sky. So 
let us listen to this. Please have patience, just 14 minutes, Amrit Pani. This brain are forced into three new dimensions. First, it depicts the truth through logical conclusions. Because I have told you that if this finger is catching, then it is issue. And then you ask the person, have you got a problem here? He says, yes. Then you believe in me. And then you believe that this is the Vishuddhi Chakra which is showing his truth. This is the logical conclusion. In a way, that you have experimented, you are seeing, you are still doubting whether mother says it's true or not. And then you are sure, yes, it is so. We have seen this Vishuddhi Chakra. So the truth becomes logically acceptable to this. But still, there is the brain working now on its gross level. But the second stage, as I told you, where you believe, you know for definite that this means we should teach it. No doubt. Nobody. Then, then we start with the bias start. And there's no doubt about me or search. But then the new unfolding starts within. For that, one has to do meditation. In humility, one has to do meditation. And then also for this new dimension where your chitta itself becomes merged into your brain or into the enlightened brain, for that one has to very honestly and humbly surrender to surgery. Like Savikalpa is, Vikalpa means doubt, and Savikalpa means big doubt. So you are still growing with the doubts in your mind. There are people who still grow with doubts in their mind. For example, you see somebody feels hurt in Sahaja Yoga. Somebody is hurt uh, that I've been hurt in Sahaja Yoga, something, the subconscious is there. Then he still has that feeling within himself, I'm hurt. Still, I must do such a right as good mentally accepts and goes on with it. So he can uh, get into nirvikalp state with that. Or maybe he gets to nirvikalp state and then again goes to savikalp. That's a um, flashback. He, he can say, <coughs> All right, I will read the nirvichara. But uh, uh, from nirvichara, I can uh, go to see my doubts also. After all, I have my doubts about things. And, this and that is possible. And some people have a hidden anger within themselves or kind of a, a hidden feelings or hidden things which uh, he's not very uh, aware of. So, so he has uh, got the vikalpas with him. So with Savikalpa, Samadhi is that. So it can be uh, after or before the ritual Samadhi. So, I mean, you go and fall out it sometimes. So we have to go beyond actually Savikalpa. Because the Vichar Samadhi is not sufficient enough. All the Vikalpas, all the doubts must go away. Then you reach the state of Nirvikal. Then there is no doubt. There is no problem. There are many among you who are like that, who are not yet aware that they are like that. That's why I am requesting you to develop this new dimension in your, in your creative work. At least you must reach the state of Nirvikal. Do not blame any circumstance. Do not blame your father, mother, brother, atmosphere, this, that. There's no need to blame anyone. Because somebody came, we were influenced. What is the matter with you? I am here 
You are not influenced by me. How are you influenced by somebody who is so stupid, obviously? So, Dominic. That means what is your level? So, tomorrow I've decided to tell you how to be at the state of Nirvikal. As I said, we can approach mentally. But mentally, if I say take this medicine and you do not take the medicine, that is just a mental thing. The medicine is kept on the cupboard. You are just the same. And then you say, Mother, yes, we listen to your lecture. So this is the 12 types of such a piece I've described. But there's one. That is the one which is fully empowered towards. They discover their own powers. In that introspection, they see and they are sure about it, no doubts. That is the state of Nirvikal. They have no doubts about themselves. To have faith in me, to worship me, to receive something from me. But know that I have made you also something great. And that you have to develop your power source. Don't only depend on the powers that I have. Just do not try to extract powers which are from your mother. But try to rise onto the same levels. You can. I would say how many will, but try. And for that, first and foremost thing, first and most important thing is complete humility. Of course, you are surrendered to me, so you are humble. So this is how when the cells that are opened, the Kundalini started moving towards this divine power, getting connected with it, and was all the time flowing within it. When the Nirvikalpa state came. Now when it is coming through the Sastara, one has to know that the sastara has to be clean so that the flow of divine power is going, penetrating without any obstacle, without getting impure, without getting into any kind of problems. So to get to that level, to that state, all the surgery I'm happy to know are trying to work it out, their own individual meditations also. <coughs> so that this growth should take place. But still, I must say, as we have in our body, different type of sensory systems. We to have in search yoga people who just come in, just the beginners. They are not exposed to the truths which they cannot bear. Then, if they pass a certain line of understanding, then they are taken, as they say, which are Samadhi people who are given certain facilities to enter into certain new 
dimensions and ideas. But the inner circle people are the ones who are in your vipalna. Such people are only taken into uh, consideration uh, for teaching Sahaja Yoga. Anybody who tries to teach Sahaja Yoga, talk about Sahaja Yoga, at the second stage, just is thrown out. Because there's a centrifugal and a centripetal, both the forces working. By one, you come in, and by another, you are thrown like a tangent. In doubtless awareness, when you rise from thoughtless awareness, what happens that you start growing? Because only in present you grow. Start growing. And then you feel like doing it for others also. Want to help others, want to talk about it, work it out. This is sort of a the collective, uh, you can say, the collective generosity starts. And uh, you start working it out for others, you talk to other people, and you start raising their community, helping them, and all that. As a result of that, you can become very powerful. You can even control the elements. So many things you can control. And it's limitless because it is something really that is, we can say, is beyond our conception. How far we can. It's tremendous. This state of doubt as awareness. How do I um, surrender myself more? What things would I do? For that, Buddha has told you that Sangham Sharangacham. You have to come in the collective. It works in the collective because it's the work of the collective. Once you are in the collective, all the collective is growing, and with that, you grow. So you have to be in the collective. You should sit at home, do meditation, you won't grow. You have to be in the collective. That's all. And in the collective, you just ascend very easily. No problem. Some people have touched so fast. And some people are still a little bit not there. But because those who are higher, they just pull them. It's a collective happening. They say that you have to ask for three things called salokya, samipya, sanitya from God. Meaning to see God. Salokya, samipya, the closeness with God. And sanitya is the companionship of God. But you have got tadatmya, is oneness with God, which is not in the concept of any one of the yogis and the saints and the seers who have been before. And this tadatme you have when you are outside my body. While they have this tadatme, when they are inside my body, they are no more. Now, so you should understand the time limit. You must understand your greatness. And you must understand how you people are chosen for the highest work in this creation. So now there's no time for lethargy. Now you have to rise and awake. Today is the day when I hope you have to jump into Nirvikal. But only by effort you will stay there, otherwise you will again slip down. So go through this lecture again and again and do not think about it. Don't think that it is for somebody else, it is for you, for all of you. Pour vous tous. Each of you. Chacun d'entre vous. And you must know yourself how far you are going every day. With these uh, lectures, we conclude today's session. And
we can only surrender ourselves completely at lotus feet of Sri Mataji with the pure desire to be one with God. How others got into her body only after they left their physical bodies. But we can be one with her, one with Lashi Sadashiva. We have been given the authority and the access to enjoy oneness with Sri Adi Shakti and Sri Sadashiva. We are blessed by her to enjoy the oneness with her, to enjoy the oneness with the Supreme Father. Shri Adi Shakti is an integral part of Shri Sadashiva. She is his powers. We have to understand everything and we should have no doubt that who she is and who is Lord Shri Sadashiva. They reside everywhere, everything that's that has life, it's because of both of them present in that being. But they are beyond, they are not a part of this universe. They have created the universe and they exist in everything that has life. The life is because of both of them. So we have to actually have no doubts, then only we can enjoy the oneness with Shri Adi Shakti and Lord Shri Sadashiva. With this, we conclude our today's session. Thank you, Shri Ji, for today's session. Thank you for all the Amritvanis which you had said so many years back and with the experience we can feel the elements, we can feel the ether, we can feel the planets, we can feel your presence beyond the cosmos. Thank you for everything, Shimatiji. In final salute at your lotus feet. Jashimatiji. Thank you, everyone. Jai Shri Mataji. Thank you, sister. God bless you. Yeah, Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Mataji bless all of us. Jai Shri Mataji. Thank you, Alka Ji. Jai Shri Mataji. 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 Jai Shri Mataji.